when the tsunamis hit these ports and harbors, they may not flood, but they generate very strong currents, and those currents can damage docks, they can damage boats, and they can generally make the harbor an unsafe place. I am a civil engineer and I focus on coastal problems. So I look at things on beaches, in ports, and in harbors. So here in Southern California, we're not necessarily looking at the Hollywood type tsunami wave in a port and a harbor, a huge wave that floods everything. Uh, we're more interested in the wave that doesn't necessarily flood the port, but generates very strong currents. To understand the effects of tsunamis in ports and harbors, we use computer simulations. These simulations tell us how strong the currents might be, areas that might flood. Harbor masters can use this information to designate areas that are safe and also to plan for future events and design structures to withstand these events. I grew up on the Jersey Shore, and so I've always been exposed to the beach and I've always enjoyed the ocean, and in particular, I've always enjoyed ocean waves. Just the beauty of waves breaking on the beach has always intrigued me. So when I went to school, I tried to understand it a little bit better, and so your, your understanding of the problem transitions from thinking that it's a beautiful natural process to something that's a little bit more mathematical and analytical, and it allows you to understand it.